What's going on YouTube? Here I have my wife's everyday carry items and I want to show you everything that she has and what I find cool about them and how much inflation has changed prices of different items. So here's a Victorinox Swiss card light. I did not even know she had this until she just told me about it. It was placed in her wallet, but I thought it was very interesting and cool. So on this side, it has a ruler. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Or if that, oh, so here's in, inches. And on the other side is centimeters. Here it has a ballpoint pen. Pretty small, I actually like it. And you see, I need a pen. Oh, and here's something else I didn't even notice. It has, I think this might be a toothpick if I can get it out. So here is a needle or a toothpick that's pretty small. Put that back in there before I lose it. It has tweezers, a magnifying glass. See, I would like one of these, but I don't think I'm going to pay $43 for it. It has a Phillips, a small Phillips, a flathead, and a smaller flathead. So that's pretty neat. I've never seen it in this configuration. It's pretty small. It has a little light on there that still works. So it's a little red light. I don't know. That could be used for signaling. I don't think it's bright enough to actually see at night with that. Here is the scissors. I've heard these are pretty good. My finger doesn't even fit in it, but you know, they feel nice. And here is a tiny knife. Let's measure the blade on this thing from the back. So it's about an inch and a half. That's pretty sweet. Cool little Swiss Army card. I would like one of these, but I don't think I'll be paying $40 for it. Next up is a Gerber knife. I believe this is called a drop point. It's not spring-loaded. There's nothing special about it. Uh, it says it costs like $38, but I don't think we spent $38 on a knife for it's probably cost us about 20 I don't know if that's inflation or the market right now, but I don't think I spent $38 on this knife. This isn't hers, but she does have a red color Cabela's multi-tool. And it has pliers, wire cutters, needle nose. What else is in here? A knife. A Phillips and a flathead or a pry bar. It also has a small pair of scissors. Seem to work pretty well or you know feel nice compared to some. A bottle opener plus a flathead and last a little saw. Here is her Streamlight Stylus Pro. I think I bought this for $20 for her, but I think now inflation, it said it's $38. And mind you, my Streamlight is $30, so I don't think I would pay more for this one, being the fact that it takes AAA batteries, I believe. So, and it's not as bright as that other one you just saw. And there's no making it wider, but neat little flashlight. And here she carries a little medical kit. She just got this at some outdoor store. It says ultralight water tight medical kit three. And I'll read off everything that's in here because I'm not going to open this. It says easy access bandage, one inch by three inch. Uh, Three easy or three bandages, fabric knuckle, two butterfly closure bandages, six sterile gauze dressing, two by two, one gauze bandage, two inch, one tape at half an inch for 10 yards. That's pretty long. 
two triple antibiotic ointment and three wipes. I don't antipos. I don't know how to say that word, but seems like a cool little medical kit. You know, me personally, I would like maybe half this size. I don't think I need everything that's in here. But thanks for checking out my wife's everyday carry kit, and I'll see you guys later.